So uh, data management is uh, super critical. Um, you know, working as a leader in healthcare and in value-based care for the last, oh, 20 some odd years, um, some of the things that I've experienced uh, is, you know, there's lots of things that can happen. So when you're moving large data sets um, around and trying to work with them and prepare files uh, for submissions, it's really easy for numbers to get moved, um, codes to drop out of scripts, uh, so that the data that you had intended um, to get from one place to the other, it's kind of like operator. And so uh, there can be some, um, I guess you would say, transmutations or transfigurations um, between going from one place to the other. And so I've seen instances where member IDs have been truncated, uh, leading zeros um, stripped off, or uh, because the way in which data was entered in a particular field, it didn't get copied over correctly. And I'm sure that there are a lot more technical folks out in the audience that have a greater understanding of why these things happen. Um, but as a leader and someone who's responsible for the results, uh, they happen. And so they can impact a team. And I can share episodes where, you know, trying to get things done in a hurry um, and I think as a leader too, I'll just put a plug in there. Uh, it's really important um, to have these types of conversations with your teams um, to not sacrifice uh, data integrity um, for the sake of getting something done. And can remember uh, a time uh, in my past where I had a very high performing team, awesome team, um, wanting to uh, get data over um, wanting to do what I had asked of them, uh, wanting to do a good job. Um, they were a great team, uh, but they uh, took some shortcuts in trying to meet a deadline. And, you know, even though they made those decisions as a leader, it was on me um, because I didn't instill uh, in the culture uh, among my team that, you know, the deadlines might have to be sacrificed uh, in order for data quality. And so, um, in this instance, uh, someone had hurried up, um, didn't go through the final QA check. And uh, what happened was, was data uh, ended up getting released, um, add into the market. Uh, luckily, you know, we were able to contain it. Um, there wasn't any release of PHI, uh, but there were um, base cover sheets uh, that were sent to an institution uh, that wasn't a healthcare institution. And so, uh, but it was an example of uh, how data quality, how we became, um, how it affected us. And so in that instance, uh, we had the wrong fax numbers um, for this entity. And uh, unknowingly, you know, the team would have caught it had they checked it, um, but unknowingly uh, it allowed for us to uh, send um, information over uh, like I said, to the wrong party. Um, and it was something that then we had to clean up. And so uh, I think doing those checks, um, making sure that your, you know, your data is uh, accurate um, is important. Uh, some of the things too uh, that you'll want to uh, keep an eye to um, or will be important, you know, just thinking about value-based care and all the work that we're doing. So uh, the work around SDOH, um, with V28, uh, I've been doing a little extra work there um, and taking a look at when uh, the reimbursements um, will be felt by provider groups and plans and knowing that uh, that first check, uh, that first reimbursement check is going to come over the summer, um, that that will have uh, some of the first impacts of V28. And I think that, you know, one of the things to recognize is that uh, submitting data, having um, good data, and then also too having data in a way that you can target your members uh, more uh, specifically. And so, um, you know, thinking about V28, uh, ensuring that you're managing um, your patients, managing care programs, having complete data uh, on patients is important because you're running programs. Um, and again, uh, I think V28 is going to make it even more difficult um, to be able to run the programs that we need to run uh, for patients to care for them. 
Um, and so again, you know, having having accurate data, having complete data, um, being able to to tell these stories, um, being able to provide programs uh, that are um, you know that are effective, um, efficacious, uh, and then also to being able to report on um, those programs uh, through the data um, that you're sharing, uh, I think are all important. And so. If you don't have a data management strategy, highly recommend uh, that you have one, and it should be something that's discussed across the company. And then again, uh, I think that it's something that's important in your culture, uh, because uh, you know, just looking at some of the things that have happened recently in the industry, um, it's important. You know, patients entrust us, members entrust us with that data, and we have to be good stewards of that data. And so having an effective data management um, program and having that governance in place is important. Um, I have been a, a part of organizations though that are um, building those programs. And I think that there are some uh, that are better class than others. Uh, and the ones that I think um, are are of value or the ones that do it well are those that uh, communication is key. So having those discussions across the organization uh, involving uh, various stakeholders, making sure that um, your program is reflective of the need of all the different components of the company, not just IT leading the way, you know, you need to make sure that you're involving others. And I think the great divide between, you know, the haves and the have nots as it relates to technical knowledge um, needs to be traversed. And what I mean by that is, you know, uh, we need to bring folks that know technology and folks that don't know technology to the table. And the driving force really needs to be the business. Um, but, uh, you know, I think having that discussion across um, the various stakeholders uh, to ensure that you have a data management policy and, and have the appropriate governance uh, across the organization that is, um, you know, that that's uh, helpful and that, um, you know, uh, pushes success for the business. Um, one of the things uh, that I know that I've done that's been an effective strategy uh, I'm sure that uh, there will be ways in which uh, this will be updated, but it's taking taking regular snapshots, having good archives. Um, one of the things that I like to do with my team when we work with uh, various organizations is uh, we build uh, separate data tables um, that contain the data that we need uh, to run our work. And so in that way, uh, we have an image um, of the data uh, so that we're careful not to change anything or overwrite anything. And so I think, you know, having having that type of thoughtfulness, um, being aware of uh, the impact that you can have, um, knowing the rights, the access rights that a particular employee may have uh, and what can be done um, are important. Uh, but again, uh, some of the practices that I know that I... Um, have always liked to engage in or ask my teams to engage in as a leader is to take snapshots, take snapshots of the data at critical points. So like when you're turning over a new year or you're closing out a cycle um, for quality reporting, you know, take a snapshot of your data so that you have that, um, so that you can maintain the integrity so that if anything gets changed or happens, you have a point in time that you can go back to um, and check the fidelity of that data.